Joining us now is the DartmouthSports.com female athlete of the week, Claire Bick of the Dartmouth Equestrian Team, coming off a team win this weekend at home at Morton Farm. Congratulations. Thank you. You were the high point rider of the meet. Take us uh, through what that entails for those of us who may not have a uh, an immense background knowledge of equestrian. Yeah, definitely. So essentially um, in the sport, there's sort of two events that you can compete in. So you can compete in fences or flat and there's a majority of us on the team who do both. So you earn points based on how you do in both your fences and your flat round and the rider who has the most cumulative points at the end of the show is deemed the high point rider. And you uh, came away with two first place finishes uh, in two different events this weekend. Uh, take us through that a little. Yeah, so essentially in my fences class you have your horse draw, you get on your horse, go in to the ring alone individually and um, jump your round and you're judged basically on how you handle the horse, how you look over the fences, your accuracy, and kind of just the overall appearance of how the course looks. Um, the person in your class who ties that all together the best is the winner. And then in a fences, or sorry, in a flat class, um, everyone, you go into a class of about eight or so people and you work around the ring demonstrating walk, trot, canter, sitting trot, depending on what the judge asks. The rider who sort of handles the horse the best and keeps the correct form is deemed the winner. This was a little bit different for you this week in the sense of um, the meat or excuse me, the show rather was not indoors, it was outdoors. Yeah. Now, is that does that pose any new challenges or anything different for you ha having not seen that at Morton Farm in your time? Yeah, definitely. So when you're riding outside, there's more space in the ring and there's kind of more environmental factors that can distract the horse or, you know, cause them to kind of lose focus. So you always have to be aware of that as a rider and knowing that the horses aren't necessarily used to being outside too. So just making sure that you and your horse stay focused and kind of on task is really important. Additionally, you're able to open the horse up a little bit more because you're in a bigger space. So you kind of have to account for the difference in stride length when you're riding the course. Well, a, an impressive day uh, for, your, for yourself and as well as for the rest of your big green teammates. Claire Bick, congratulations this week's DartmouthSports.com Female Athlete of the Week. Thank you so much. I'm here with DartmouthSports.com Male Athlete of the Week, Noah Paravicini, who scored essentially the game-winning goal against Columbia over the weekend. Congrats to you and the team on a huge Ivy League win. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so winning the Columbia game was important for obvious reasons, taking first place in the conference. Um, but how important was it to kind of bounce back after the New Hampshire game? Uh, it was really important because the New Hampshire game, well, these five days, the New Hampshire and Columbia game was probably the biggest five-day stretch that I've we've had since I've been here in Dartmouth soccer and because we're fighting for a top 16 seed in the tournament this year so we ideally we wanted to win both of those games so it's kind of demoralizing to lose to New Hampshire in a game where we really felt like we could have won because we were trying to get a seed but uh, it was really good to get a win over another strong team that had been ranked for most of the season and bounce back. <clears throat> Yeah, and so now there are only three games left in the regular season, all Ivy League. What are you guys, what's the mentality approaching those games and going into them? Oh, we have to win them. So winning out is definitely... Yeah, winning out, that's that's our goal for sure. And would that give you the essential, like, complete Ivy League champion Yeah, if we, if we win out, there's no chance anybody can tie with us, so... Gotcha, okay. Um, so taking a little turn here, you're from... Pentaluma, California. Petaluma. <laughs> so um, it's, I've heard it's close to where some of the fires have been. How has that affected you personally? Um, it's, uh, it's actually, it was, it had quite an impact on me last week because Petaluma is in Sonoma County, which is one of the two counties that got affected the most by the fires. So I actually know a lot of people who lost their homes or had to evacuate due to the fires. And luckily my family was safe because my town was pretty much the only one in the county that remained untouched. But, uh, it was really stressful for a while because I kept on hearing of all my friends having to leave and some of them losing their houses. And it was kind of frustrating being here and not being at home to like know what was going on or help out in any way. Well, 
thankfully everyone sounds like they're safe at home, including your family. Um, and thank you for coming in and joining us today. Congrats again on being Dartmouth Sports me. Athlete of the Week. Thank, thank you. you.